Right, in this excellent, highly prepared, very professional, no expense spared video, what are we going to talk about, Ty? We're going to talk about tow hooks, surroundings, and my monumental muck up, but all will be revealed. Right, so we all know about the Land Rover Defender, and a lot of people have opted to put these extra hooks in. They're brilliant if you live on a farm or you're moving stuff around, and they're just really good. So we recovered my friend's van. So you've got one on each side, and we are looking at making some options to create a step plate that goes on there. But, right, from factory, there's a big story here. Shall I, is it going to be easy with this door open, Tyler? Yeah. Have I got the back tidy? Yeah, I've got the back tidy enough. Right, tidy-ish. So, when we got our Land Rover Defender, it had some blanking plates over these because we didn't have the hooks, and we've done the video, and we'll put the little link up there, somewhere there um of how to take your bumper off and fit these tow hooks and it wasn't that bad well it wouldn't have been that bad if you hadn't have dropped the clips down the drain tyler but that's another story right um so they just have blanking plates and you can pop the blanking plates out and you can screw a tow eye that you get with your car under your thing and you can screw a tow eye in so you don't need to go for the hooks you can still have the recovery option now these are these bolt virtually onto the chassis although there's not a chassis but you know what i mean um, and these have got some ridiculous sewing capacity of like 10 tons or something. It's ridiculous. So they're just really handy and useful and great and look cool. So, so we took out the blanking plates, fitted the hooks, put the bumper on. But then we were left with this funny little gap, which you can see on this side. And we thought it looked a bit messy. And at the time, Land Rover had no option to tidy that up. Because you can you see that well enough, Tyler, all the little... You have to have to get down, you see, and it looked a bit messy. So we got busy on the laser cutter and we made these little frames because and we, we, we sold these frames with the hooks and they just made a nice little frame. And let's shut the door again. We're going to have this door open. Here. And then basically they they were wider at the one side. I can't remember which side. There you go. And then they fit it in. There you go. Wrong. Yeah. And they fitted in like that and they they tidied it all up and it all looked great um and then someone said to me a few months later land rover have copied you now did they copy me who knows and they <laughs> they've done their own thing simon to tidy up that rear end and sure enough they have and they did a left and a right one Psh, there's some part numbers for you there mm -hmm. let's have a look so this is sort of a history lesson but we're getting somewhere we're going to get to these these in a minute so hang on in there and look at that there you go it's a little thing and it's got a little des devil's tail on it and basically they clipped in and i gotta be honest they were a neater job than my sticking ones so we also although they seem to have a fairly uniform frame so they just clip in so if you've got tow hooks with no frame if you've got an early car you can buy our laser cut ones or you can get these ones from land rover clip in right so I thought, well, if Land Rover are getting there, I thought I'd better up my game. But let's, let's, we'll get there in a minute. So Tyler's thought, well, let's, as we're talking about hooks, we've got the black ones, but you could also fit red ones. And we've also launched the blue ones, which are sort of, we were, we launched them earlier. But actually, when the Carpathian came out, the V8 with the blue calipers, we thought maybe you could have like the whole blue calipers and blue hooks and have a whole blue thing going on, which might be cool. But there we go. Right. So what did we do, Tyler? We said, well, if Land Rover... Oh, there's one other thing. If you're one of those flash goats that's got the Model X, then you will notice if you look at your rear bumper, you can... They all came with hooks as standard, I believe, the Model X. But they got rid of this frame around here. So it looked like the bumper's just got a sort of clean cut. There's none of this inner fittings that I've put this, that I now can't get out, put, put that against. So people are saying, I can't fit. I can fit tow hooks on a Model X. I think they came in a minute. But like your surround doesn't work because the hole is bigger and there's nothing for it. So I'm hoping that our new surrounds da -da -da, will fit the Model X as well. And there's one guy in America who, who we're going to send a free set to because he's been encouraging us to do this so we, we will send him a free set right um so let's have a look how do these fit what do they do and where's the muck up i made so basically we've got the checker plate and these are going to go over here now 
we are going to have to remove that one. So let me grab a screwdriver and tweak that one out. Right, so I have designed, I, I, <laughs> I not me at all, Julian, King Julian has designed these. Um, they are going to go on there like this. Now, I'll get a rope in a minute. And the idea is it gives you more protection as you're putting things in your shackles there. And it looks good. And if you've got a Model X, it will tidy up this messy frame all in one cunning thing. So you can see they're fully injection molded and you've got this. Now, thing to note, if you get a set of these, you've got an L and an R. Have I got that the right way up, Tyler? You can see there's an R there. Yeah. You got it? Just about. Just about. Yeah, and you'll notice that you have got a thick side and a thin side. So the thick side goes towards the middle of the car. You'll see if I put my little finger in here, you see it virtually goes all the way in. You can engage. Look, and on this side, you can see that it doesn't go in at all. So the thick side goes to the middle. And the same on the other side. Right. Okay, so this is going to go in there. So with this, we are going to supply a alcohol cleaning wipe. So you can see that ridge. It, it locates in, so it sh the adhesive shouldn't be doing too much. It's just keeping it in place. It, sh it locates on the... So let's give it a... Right. We haven't discussed my monumental muck-up yet, have we, Tyler? All will be revealed. Right, so clean clean both sides with that, and let's have a look how well these stick on. I've cheated, I've I've pre 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 removed the wrapping on these. That is one of those things that can take you five minutes just to get the corner. He says, Go on, I okay. Right. Yeah. Right. right, and so look, thin, thick. Is that how cold you are yet? Right, and they should locate in. You can feel them locate, and then they stick on like so. Flipping brilliant. Give that a minute. And then the idea was, if, you, if you're putting a rope around the back, I'm hoping that you could see that you could potentially, where they're located as you're putting your rope through, you could have scratched the car. This rope is so fat. That's non-stick Nick told me to get this rope. He said it's the business. It might be Nick, but it's tight to get it through there. Right, so you can see why that will give you some benefit and it looks cool. Right, so why did I muck up? So I was dead proud with this design and it was brilliant. But we have got coming and it, people keep asking me, when's your, when's your rear bumper cover coming, Simon? And it is on the water. It is nearly here. So we have this bumper protector. Um coming that covers the Land Rover one only covers sort of up to this edge here you can see it doesn't come over the edge and I was worried I was going to scratch it so I've designed this cover that goes on here like so and it should just slot in there right and that's brilliant <laughs> but I, I'll be showing close the door again door opening but look look it's not it sits over that but don't worry we've designed a version two so before I've even launched, launched version one, so we've got this one coming, which is narrower. So don't buy these if you plan on buying my, because then that will go like that. That will fit there and those two can fit together. But I think this one without the, it doesn't look right unless you've got the, the sort of, what's the word? Asymmetry doesn't look right unless you've got the bumper cover on. Right. So we will launch, these will be on the website, the full, I've lost them now, the full surround will be on the website, we'll get those on straight away, the, the shallow around and this one will be in the next couple of weeks. Now, we will then mess in around and point for discussion. We've got this sort of groove here and we created this sort of arrow. Um, does it look better with the arrow? Let's try on this side, Tyler. Does it look better with an arrow? Do we need to, I mean, you can make this yourself, or we could get them professionally. We could get them on the vinyl cutter, couldn't we? Like getting rid of silver, really. We do like getting rid of silver. So we were wondering, does it look, I mean, that was just cut by scissors. Don't look at the, <laughs> discuss, is that good? And the other thing that I thought looked better was covering over this parking sensor, making it black. Because it's not like you can't notice it's there. And we do these little stickers, but again, you can cut them yourself. And I think, and they don't affect the parking sensor performance. I just wondered if it didn't look a little more utilitarian 
with the parking sensors in black. So there we go. That is a load of waffle about tow hook surrounds and various options and some update on what we're doing. Hope you enjoyed the video.